All right, everybody, it's Doc Green, the Road Scholar, back at you. Haven't talked to y'all in a while. Let y'all know what I'm up to. Let y'all know about some little shows I've been watching and uh, some podcasts. And, you know, just go talk to y'all about just some stuff. Anyway, today is about the beginning of my third week with DART lease program. Uh, yeah, I left US Express. I couldn't get enough uh, consistent miles with them after I switched out of their dedicated account over to Over the Road. Uh, it's like every other day I was just shut down. So I had to leave out of there, came over here to Dart. Um, so far, doing pretty well. Uh, averaging about anywhere from 1500 to about 1800 a week. So uh, doing all right with that. And that's take home after fuel, everything, truck payments, all that. So, I mean, that's okay. And plus, you know, buying the truck, whatever. Don't know if I'll make it through the full lease or not. Again, uh, usually I, I always say you just save your money long enough to buy your own truck. That's what lease programs are designed for. But the way I'm moving here, I may just stay with it. I don't know. But uh, I'm enjoying it. They keep me moving really well and everything. I'll say this much about Dart. Uh, I've been with a lot of companies, and it seems like when you hit your 70 hours, you're like within 10, 15, 12 hours, whatever, your 70 hours, they shut you down for 34 hours. Just reset, and we'll get you rolling again. Dart, <laughs> they had me pick up a load with 12 hours left. Um... By the time I picked up the load, I only had about four hours left, and it was delivering. It was like a, it was about a 12-hour, maybe a 15-hour drive down to Georgia to where it was going. So they said, don't worry about it. They reset the schedule, shut me down with my load, uh, stayed there for 34 hours, finished up the load when I got back to work and everything. And a lot of people go, well, man, that's kind of messed up. Not really, because if you think about that load, paid for my lease and everything, I was going to be shut down anyway. So that load, they it was on my back and everything, but it helped cover, it did cover actually my lease payments. So uh, I wouldn't sit down there without a load and just, you know, sitting somewhere not making any money and have to owe that money back when I came back. So that's what they got to do like about the way the DART runs. I mean, they keep you rolling out here. You run out of your 30 or your 70 hours and they will put you down 34 with a load on your back, uh, which which helps you out a lot. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm riding with DART. It's going really well. They kept me moving. I've get I'm, I'm averaging really good miles. I'm averaging about 550, 600 miles a day, which uh, you know, with these new DOT logs and everything, that's that's a pretty decent day. So I'm, I'm good with that. I will say I've been out here going to a lot of places. I see. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all have the CDL Life app. It's a trucker's app. You know, a lot of truck drivers on there and, and communicate with each other in their own community, sort of like Facebook for truck drivers. Anyway, I was on there. And uh, matter of fact, it's a lot like Facebook for truck drivers. But I see a lot of the restaurants are starting to open up yet. And I don't know why. I guess, you know, America's opening back up again and everything. None of the restaurants I've been to, none of the TA truck stops, Petro, anything that I've been to today. Of course, I've only been in, you know, Indiana, uh, Ohio for a minute, didn't stop it there. Indiana, Illinois, that's basically really all I've been, but they are still closed down. So hopefully they'll be opening up pretty soon. Hopefully they send me back down because I'm telling you, I'm tired of eating up on the truck all the time. I want to sit down somewhere and, you know, read a book or something, you know, something besides sitting on the truck. Anyways, I'm glad to see that's, that's starting to open back up for us. Now, on to some of my little uh, recommendations for you right now. Guys, we spent a lot of time out here, so I'm going to share some of the podcasts I've been listening to. Uh, I'm going to share a podcast with you with a television series I've been watching. Uh, well, that television more like with a subscription series. I, I'm on video, Prime Video. But on Prime Video, I'm watching a show called Poldark. It's uh, not one of the ones you probably heard a lot about or anything. It's based in England during the right after the American Revolution. Uh, the French Revolution is going on. It's a great little story. I mean, it's kind of like one of the little cheesy romance stories at first. A lot of action, though. Um, but it's not bull crap action, you know, where, you know, like Braveheart runs in there and kills a whole army by itself or anything like that. It's very realistically set and everything. Great show. Uh, it's, it's an English film, which normally <laughs> I don't really get into English uh, foreign films too much. I have a hard time, uh, their photography is usually not that great. Their cinematography, whatever, is not that great. Their lines aren't that great. But this one is really, really, really well done. I know some people love British comedy. I uh, just never... Well, Fool's and Horses. I like that one. But that, that's not his point. Anyway, so if you got Prime Video, I suggest you go look up Poldark. P-O-L-D-A-R-K. 
I'm only on season four at the moment, and I've, there's a few more seasons, but that's a great one to binge watch, you know, while you're sitting at the truck stop at night trying to, you know, wonder what to do. Uh, that, that help get some time down. You're on your 34 hours. You don't want to really know what else to do. Catch a couple of episodes of that. That's a great series to watch. Uh, podcast. You know, you're driving down that road. You've got your 10, 11 hours. You're trying to get down the road and everything. And you're getting bored of the same music or anything. And the wife doesn't talk to you. You're off and everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, one of the great uh, podcasts I'm listening to on iHeartRadio. I just finished uh, one called Disgraceland. It's under crimes. If you go to iHeartRadio, hit the crimes section, true crimes, whatever, and you can, it's one called Disgraceland. It's a bunch of mini episodes. It's not one like one continuous story long, but it's stories about musicians and their lives and how bad things have happened to a lot of them. And it's like every musician out here has some bad stuff to happen, but they got little stories each, each week or every two weeks he puts a new story on. And so I binge listen to that. Everything from Johnny Cash to uh, uh, N.W.A. to I mean, and he gives all those back backdrop stories to all of them. I, a lot of a lot of the stuff I've never. I mean, I've always listened to musicians, but I never really got into worrying about their life or anything. I didn't care. I like the music, but after hearing about some of these the Rolling Stones stories, and I mean not just one. I mean multiple stories about them. Jimi Hendrix, uh, some of the. Um, you know, rumors about him and some of the conspiracy theories and everything. And some of the, I mean, it's a really, really well put together uh, podcast. Um, and he does some other things also, you know, but uh, I love the podcast. And it gives some, you learn a little bit about the music that you listen to. Um, but it was really, that was a great one to, to a uh, great podcast to catch. So, anyway, those are my two recommendations this week. Pole Dark. On vi- uh, Prime Video and uh, Disgraceland on iHeartRadio or Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your radio podcast at. I'm sure they got it. Go in there and check them out and see what you think. Anyway, guys, hope you uh, have a good one out here. I'm going to jump back here and grab me uh, some salad, some oysters, and chill out for the night. Get ready to make my delivery in the morning. Uh, don't want to keep y'all on here too long because I know uh, I get bored of listening to me. <laughs> Uh, so y'all guys have a good one check it out my links below don't forget to hit subscribe button over here whichever side it's on i don't remember on this i haven't done a video in a long time hit subscribe share with your friends leave a comment below Uh, i'm going to hit the link down there for those two shows uh the podcast and the tv show and uh, each time i get on here i'm going to try to tell you a little bit more about you know some other shows and things i'm doing to try to keep my mind going really well especially during this pandemic thing and everything I'm not going to give my views on that, my political views or my social views or anything else about it. Um, I'm just going to let the pandemic thing rest because some people are really, I mean, everyone has some really embedded opinions about it. And to be honest with you, none of us really know what the situation is with it because it's just not been here long enough. Some guys can get, you can guess, but you really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, just take your own beliefs. I wish you all the best on that. Uh, if, if you, you know, if you're one of them real hard mask, and I will say this. <laughs> I know I, I should let off here. If you're wearing that mask, I see a lot of truck drivers doing this. I will, this 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 gets me. This one gets me. And they're wearing their mask while they're driving down the road. That you know they're gonna be driving four or five hundred miles, and they got the mask on the whole time in their truck. And I'm trying to figure out why. You're, you're in your truck. You know, why, what, hit your truck down with some Lysol. And you know what else is good? Listerine kills a lot of the germs. Listerine is what the uh, the forensic teams and stuff, not the, the, the body, the people come in and clean up dead bodies and stuff, use Listerine to kill, like, germs and stuff and blood and everything so they don't get, you know, infected by something that, that the deceased probably had. But just to let you know that Listerine in a spray bottle, wipe things down with it, works as well as Lysol if you can't find Lysol. Um, but I mean, they're wiping stuff down in their truck. So why wear the mask all day? That makes no sense. And some of these guys out here wear masks. And I'll be honest with you, dude, I would rather wear my underwear out to Six Flags all day, run two miles and fart all day long and put that over my face as to what some of you guys masks look like over your faces. I mean, I mean, 
guys, that thing's looking bad. Just stop it. Spend the spend five or six bucks, whatever, twelve bucks in a pile or something. Buy yourself some face masks or something, because man, some of these you guys look like y'all got like uh, a venereal disease of the face or something. The way that y'all's masks look, holy cow, that thing is doing you worse than it is good. And a lot of people go, well, it's not for me. It's to protect others. That ain't protecting anything, son. That thing needs to be, woo, look toe up for the flow up. That's, but that's on you. I'd rather not wear a mask if I was going to wear that. But anyway, that's on y'all. And some of you guys are going, well, the masks are ridiculous anyway. Hey, brother, hey, I'm with you. You know, I, I, I put them on because when I go into places, I don't like making other people nervous. And, and it's better than getting, I've seen people getting into arguments and everything about them in stores and everything. So I, I just put it on just to keep them shut up. Um, but that's not going to last a lot longer anyway. Americans are getting tired of that. <clears throat> a lot of people going, well, it's better than being on a ventilator. Well, you may think so. That's up to you. I get it. I, I just, anyway. So, guys, hit subscribe, hit like, share the video with your friends and everything if I'm giving you any kind of decent information. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video again here probably next day or two. Um, I want to do one. I want to, I got to do another one back over like safety checks on a truck and everything. Uh, cause, uh, a lot of new drivers have been asking me, I guess I accidentally deleted my video or something. So I get, or went blank or something. Anyway, it's not up anymore. So I'll be doing another one of those on your pre pre trips and post trips. But you guys have a good one. Take it easy. I'm sorry. I keep looking off over here to the side. Cause I'm trying to figure out what the guy's doing over this truck. But anyway, Y'all guys have a good one. Be safe out there. Uh, have a corona-free day. Have a corona on me when you get home. And uh, let's, let's keep rolling. Let's keep moving this thing along. Y'all have a good one. Bye.